Welcome back, everybody. It's the second half of tonight's game between Burnt Hills and Gilderland here at Gilderland High School. I'm Sean Cunningham. Lady Dutch currently looking to rebound from a tough second quarter, which they were outscored 19 to 10. It is Burnt Hills currently with the lead, 36 to 27. It's taken here by Grayson Dubin on the turnover, and the Lady Dutch go the other way. Taken here by McFerrin, now Saravillo. Long pass across now for Bella Gito. Gito for Dubin, going for three scores! And that's a good start to the second half. And Dubin's gonna get called for a foul here. It's her second, she disputes the call. This comes just after scoring that three. Ella Blisi picks it up now for Burnt Hills. Going to work against Grace McFerrin. You see currently with two points on the night, taken now by Carly Rezatarski, who's the leading scorer for Burnt Hills tonight. Blisi now for Chevalier. Cross now for Rezatarski. Taken here by Regan Neary, who had four points in the first quarter. And a shot there, and she scores. Doubles her point total from the first quarter. Now she has eight points tonight. Burnt Hills up by eight. Sophia Saravillo going in for two and she scores. Nice play. Ella Blisi with it now. Going across, down low, Chevalier shoots and scores. Fouled on the play as well by Bella Gito. It's gonna be her second foul. Burn Hills back on top by eight as a result. And the shot misses. And Saravillo picks up the rebound here for the Lady Dutch. Given to Grayson Dubin, now Bellagito. Going for three, bounces out. Dubin going to go for the rebound, couldn't find it. And Bleasy takes it now for Burn Hills. Almost lost control there, but gets it back. Bleasy now in a tangle up. Fonte del Pasa trying to rip it free. Now another tangle up. Now Bleasy recovers and gets it back. Taken across and it's out of play. And I believe it's gonna be Burnt Hills' ball. Yes, it is. Ava Leah will check back in. Grayson Dubin will come back out. Dubin, the team leader on senior night with 11. And a foul picked up here by Regan Neary. It's her second foul, first for the team here in the third quarter. Taken by McFerrin, now Ava Leah. Back for Grace McFerrin. Ava Leah now receives the pass, back for Gito. Across, McFerrin for three, and it goes off the rim again. Pick it up on the rebound is Bleasy. Charging forward, it goes off McFerrin, and it's taken by VFP on the turnover. Valencia in, and foul on the play. So Valencia Fontenelle Possen's gonna shoot two here. Izzy Adams will pick up her first foul. And Grayson Dubin currently waiting on the sidelines as Fonte del Pasta prepares to shoot two. And the first shot just misses. And Fonte del Pasta will make her second. And Dubin comes in for Fontenelle Possen. Now takes a seat on the bench, taken here by Izzy Adams. Blocked by Sarah Villo, and now another whistle will blow. And Sarah Villo will get called for the foul, her first, team third for the third. Bleasy takes the pass from Adams. Still in control here for the Spartans. It's taken by Chevalier. Down low, Rezatarski now a shot and a score for Regan Neary. And she becomes the second player on Burnt Hills with double digit points. Grayson Dubin back with it. 
Looking across, finds McFerrin, juggled it momentarily. Now Saravillo takes on the pass from Leah. Up top, Dubin, now Bellagito. Trying to maneuver her way in, and the shot is no good. So I believe there's gonna be a foul. And yes, it is. It's gonna be against Blisi. And in comes Ponte del Pasen again. She'll replace Avalia. Ponte del Pasen running into a little bit of, a tr of trouble there and that's gonna result in Burnt Hills getting the ball. Long pass taken here by Neary. And she runs into a little bit of, a tr of trouble. Now Blisi gets free, shoots, no good. Fontanelle Pasen forces it out. And a 30 second timeout will be taken here. 4.37 to go here in the third quarter. Burnt Hills in the lead by nine, still So Blisi looking for a play here, and McFerrin will take it for the Lady Dutch, almost fell over. But still in possession here is Grace McFerrin, taken now by Grayson Dubin. Bounce pass, and Leah can't quite keep it in as it goes out of play. So Adams for Rezatarski to start play up. Neary back for Rezatarski. Taken here by Chevalier. Looking across, Ella Blisi now with it. Izzy Adams now across. Chevalier going for three, bounces off, and it's picked up by Dubin after Leah deflected it away. Grace McFerrin across for Dubin, now Gito. Gito goes in, bounces off, trying to keep it in, cannot. And once again, Burton Hills will take possession. And O'Connor and Vaughn check in. Neary and Adams check out as they head back to the sidelines. Ella Blisi still dribbling across, tangled up with three players as Leah ends up falling down as a result. It will be Gilderland's ball here. And Saravillo and Gito will swap spaces as Saravillo comes in. And she'll take it on the pass from McFerrin. Now Dubin back with it. Ava Leah now. Across now, Saravillo on the pass from McFerrin. Saravillo looking across. Dubin going for three, bounces off. Fontanel Pasin picks, trying to pick up the rebound. And it went out of play, and it will be Burnt Hills in possession again. Rezatarski, long pass finding Chevalier. Chevalier now going in. Another pass to Blisi and another stoppage in play. Gilliland's ball yet again. Dubin on the pass from McFerrin. Over now for Saravillo. Leah for Fontanel Passen and yet another stoppage. And Dubin is called for her third foul. Burn Hills will take possession here. Leah goes out, Gito comes in. As Rezatarski gets the pass, looks across, finds Chevalier, and now it's taken by Blisi again. 
Lisi looking across. Now with it near the center logo. Bounce pass for Carly Rezatarski. Over for Chevalier, now back for Blisi. Down low, Rezatarski bumps into McFerrin. Unable to get the shot in the hoop though. McFerrin is gonna get called for a foul. So McFerrin picks up her first foul, team fifth. Rezatarski's first shot just misses. And Resitarski puts in her second. 10 point lead now, 43-33. Gito long pass across, finding Dubin. Now McFerrin with it again. McFerrin for Dubin, now Saravillo shot for three. And it just rolled off the rim. Resitarski now falls. And Burn Hills. Advancing forward here, Blisi pass down low, blocked on the play by Dubin, and it forces another turnover. And now trying to keep it in is Vaughn on another Gildelin turnover, now Blisi will take it. 2.10 to go. McFerrin now blocks it away. Blisi still with it, shot clock ticking down. O'Connor. Moves it across Chevalier, across for Blisi again. Blisi looking across, five seconds to go. Can't find a play, now a shot, Chevalier scores just as the shot clock was about to run out. Burn Hills now the 12 point lead. Dubin for Gito, now McFerrin. Bella Gito, now Sofia Saravillo. Bounce pass for Dubin, going for three. Bounced off, Dubin picks up her own rebound. Grace McFerrin, back for Dubin. Another shot for a three, bounces out again. And another whistle, I believe it's another foul. And yes it is, Fontenelle Pawson called for her fourth foul of the game. Leah and Dubin now swap out. And Carly Rezatarski, as a result of that foul from Fontenelle Possum, will shoot again for two. And her first shot misses. And the second one also misses. Goes out of play, it will be Gowen's ball. Gito takes it on the pass from McFerrin, now comes up center with it. Sophia Saravillo, bounce pass now for Bella Gito, turned over briefly, going after it, Fontenelle Pawson, and she can't get it, and Blisi picks it up on the pass from O'Connor. O'Connor now takes it back. Looking across, bounce pass for Rezatarski. Chevalier, 50 seconds to go, a shot goes nowhere near the mark. And Godolin will take a full timeout here, 47 seconds to go. They are down by 12, looking to come back here in this one.
We now return from the timeout. Burnt Hills will get possession here. Lisi looking across, finds Reza Tarski, who's almost deflected away. Shot for three, misses from Vaughn. And then the whistle blows. Burn Hills will take possession again. It's gonna take a minute. O'Connor now throws it in. Rezatarski now for Blisi. We see across. O'Connor for three. Bounces out. And picked up by Chevalier. Down low. Rezatarski shoots and scores. 16 points tonight for Carly Rezatarski. Certainly been a difference maker tonight. Saken here by Leah, now back for Grace McFerrin. Chance of defense emerging from the Burn Hills players as it's taken here by Rezatarski, a turnover against Zubin, and time expires for the third quarter of tonight's game. The Burnt Hill Spartans extend their lead to 14. They lead 47 to 33 as we head into the final quarter of tonight's game. A sizable lead, but one more quarter to go. Still anything can happen. We'll be right back. And the fourth quarter is now underway. Fontenelle passing across for Sarah Villo. Taken now, Dubin for three. It will bounce up top and it will be taken here by Chevalier. Ella Blisi across for Chevalier again and now a whistle blows. 18 seconds went by to start the fourth quarter before we got our first stoppage. And here we go again. It's Gito now for Grayson Dubin. Sarah Villo takes the pass. Now Fontenelle Possum with it. Fontenelle Possum loses it. Now gets it back. Taken now by McFerrin again. Pass across. Now down low, Sarah Villo. Back up top, Gito. Cross. Dubin. For Sarah Villo. Loses control. It's picked up by O'Connor. They both fight for it. And it will be Burnt Hills with possession. Taking here, Sepaniak. Now it goes out of play. And it went off McFerrin, so it will be Burnt Hills' ball. Grace O'Connor across for Blisi. Now O'Connor with a shot for three, it's off. And she gets her own rebound. Taken once again, O'Connor now for two and she finds that. <laughs> 49, 33, Dubin takes the pass, almost loses it, Sarah Villo. Now loses it and now another whistle blows. A foul is called on Blisi. It'll, it'll be her second foul. First foul of the fourth quarter for either team. McFerrin back for Saravillo again. 
McFerrin for three off the rim. Fontenelle Possum with the rebound. And Golan will get possession here. Fontenelle Possum along with two players for Burton Hills going after that ball. Ava Leah with it now for Gildelin across for Gito. Taken by McFerrin again. McFerrin across, shooting and scoring. First two points tonight for Grace McFerrin. She's had a lot of chances tonight and she makes her first two points. Ball goes out of play, will once again be Burnt Hills. Throwing it in. Lisi looking for the pass, now finds Chevalier. Chevalier back on the pass from Adams, now down low O'Connor. Sepaniak now, and that one gets away from everybody. And now a block by McFerrin, but it's taken back again by Chevalier. Five seconds on the shot clock. And it scores. Adams with the two there. And it's 51-35. McFerrin along for Gito, going for the shot, and she scores. And it's 4-3 again. And I believe there's a foul coming up here. And it's on... Ava Leah again. It will be her second as O'Connor getting ready to throw it in. Saravillo and Dubin now swap out. 5.32 to go here in the fourth quarter. Chevalier with a shot for two. It bounces up top and Fontenelle Passen will pick up the rebound. Going in and she was fouled on the play I believe. And it will be picked up by O'Connor. It will be her second and the team's first. Her team's second, rather, for the fourth quarter. Gito pass across, almost intercepted, but McFerrin gets it. Now Fontenelle passes it across for Saravillo. McFerrin takes it back. Ava Leah with it now, across for Saravillo again. And now it's miscalculated and it goes out of play. <laughs> Dubin back in, Leah will go back out. <laughs> Ella Blisi with it again. Pass across. Taken by Sepaniak, going in for two, and she scores. Back to a 15-point lead. Cheeto with a shot, and she scores for two. 10 points for her, second player on Girdelin tonight with 10 or more. And another Stoppage as Fontenelle Possen will foul out. That's her fifth foul. And she'll be replaced by Ava Wilson. So Fontenelle Possen's night is done. She finishes tonight with nine points. Long pass down low taken by Sepaniak, almost turned over. And now Blisi will take it here for the Spartans. Blisi looking across. Trying to find a lane past McFerrin, can't find one. And now with it is O'Connor. Juggling the ball and now another whistle. And this time it will be Girdelin taking the ball. And with that, 4.11 to go here in the fourth. The Lady Dutch will take a full timeout, down by 13. As they search for answers.
We are back from the timeout, Bellagido. The pass across, now Grayson Dubin finds it. Loses control, still with it. And now, Burn Hills will get the ball back. Adams for Sepaniak. And now will be taken back by Izzy Adams. Sepaniak back with it on the pass. Now Ella Blisi with it near center. Blisi with McFerrin all over her. Looking to get past, and now another foul. I believe it's gonna be Sarah Villo. And it will be against Sarah Villo, it's her second, as Ava Leah checks back in for more action, replacing Dubin on the court. Ella Blisi across, Chevalier for three, bounces out. Rebound picked up by Sepaniak. Sarah Villo rips it free and now a foul called on Burnt Hills. It will be against Chevalier. Ava Leah with it for the Lady Dutch. Pass across now for Sarah Villa from McFerrin. Wilson with a bounce pass to Gito, going for three and she scores. They'll take over the team lead in points. Bella Gito with 13 tonight. Long pass down low. Taken by Blisi. Looking across, McFerrin trying to rip it free. And Gildelin gets the ball. As two players come out for Burn Hills, Adams and Chevalier will leave. So Rezatarski and Vaughn come back in. Sarah Villo bounce pass across for Leah. Now over for Ava Wilson. Gito looks in, shoots, trying to pick up her own rebound and she goes out of play. Sepaniak will take it. And she throws it in. Rezatarski across for Vaughn. Ella Blisi with it at center, McFerrin. Now a pass down low, Rezatarski gets fouled on the play. Will be Leah's third foul on the night. Rezatarski with a shot for two and she finds that one. Eighteen points on the night now for the Burnt Hills Junior. Taken now McFerrin with another try for three. And O'Connor lets it bounce out of play. Dubin and Wilson now swap out. Sepaniak now for Jenna Vaughn. Now Carly Rezatarski, pass down low. Sarah Villo, nice play, gets the turnover. Now Grayson Dubin going across, finds Bellagito. Shot for three, will bounce off. And it's picked up by Blisi on the deflection from Grayson Dubin. And a foul called on the play. So Gito gets her third foul. Team fifth for the fourth quarter. As it'll be Ella Blisi shooting two here for Burn Hill. She comes into tonight 12 for 21 in free throw attempts and her first one bounces off. And her second one will make its way in. Three points on the night for her. 
Taken here by Gito, across for McFerrin. Bounce pass across, Leah for Gito, going for three, and she scores. <laughs> 16 points for Bella Gito. And a big bright spot tonight for Gildelin. That's taken here by Jenna Vaughn, and another whistle blows. Leah gets called for her fourth foul. 1.13 to go. And it will be Jenna Vaughn shooting two here for Burnt Hills. It's only made two free throw attempts so far this season. She made only one of them. One out of two, and she makes her first. And Vaughn second will bounce its way in as well. 58-46, taken here by Sophia Cerevillo. Bounce pass for Grace McFerrin, now back for Dubin. Dubin, across, Leah for three, and it will go over the hoop and out of play. Zatarski resumes play on the pass. Taken here, across now for O'Connor. Bleasy with it near center. McFerrin caused her to lose it, but O'Connor keeps it in, and now it goes into the Burn Hills bench. O'Connor, bounce pass for Bleasy. Close to 40 seconds to go here. Vaughn, over for Bleasy. Shooting for three and scoring. I believe it was O'Connor, 61-46. Grace McFerrin in a little bit of trouble here. Cheeto goes in, can't get the shot off. It's Rezatarski picking it up. 20 seconds to go. It's taken here by Jenna Vaughn. Ella Blisi now with it near center, across for O'Connor. O'Connor just holding on to it. Blisey will do the same. Five seconds to go, three, and she's just gonna leave it there. And this game is over. The Burnt Hill Spartans take tonight's game by a final score of 61 to 46. They improve their record to four and six in the division, six and nine overall. And the Lady Dutch fall to three and six in the division, four and 12 overall. Their losing streak unfortunately reaches four with a tough loss tonight here against the Spartans. And that will do it for our GHS Media Broadcast. Thank you all very much for tuning in to tonight's game. I'm Sean Cunningham and we will see you all back here again for the next media broadcast. We'll leave you with some replays as we leave tonight. Take care everybody.